Want to use a PGR in your cereals but have no time for a separate pass? Manipulator PGR can be applied as early as one tiller. Just add it to your herbicide to reduce lodging, increase harvest efficiency, and maximize yields. Talk to your retailer for more info and to confirm acceptable tank mixes. Bernard Tobin here at the Commodity Classic. I am over at Case IH now catching up with Leo Bose. Leo, how's it going? Oh, it's great. I think the viewers are glued on what's behind me, right? Yeah, you're a good looking man, but that combine is something else. Hey, that's the AF11 combine. You know, the story here, Leo, 775 horsepower, power drives harvest productivity. Tell us about it. Yeah, where does it stop? Where does it start? Well, it starts with three core principles capacity, technology, and runtime. The AF11 delivers on that. But it all starts in the front with our new C500 series corn head. From divider tip to the rear auger, really that's where our capacity is increased. So we take little things of saying the stripper plate adjustments, now it's cushion. So it allows us to eliminate any of that butt chilling that we would have. But take a look at that black cross auger behind me. That's 24 inch in diameter. So allow us to take high volume crop, get it to that all new design feeder house. Talk about first ever dual rotor here, dynamic cleaning system, it all comes together. Yeah, when you take a look at capacity and technology that we talked about, but runtime, really from ground up, it's been a redesign. So we lengthened out the wheelbase. So we look at the wider headers. So the header that's behind me, again, is a C516, so 16 row, 30 inch, so 40 feet wide. This allows us to really look at the capacity, but it all starts with that feeder house. So we have a wider feeder house to get us a cropper, uh, thicker crop mat, but then we bring that material up into a dual rotor. So AFX rotors over 47 years of axial flow history, more crop on crop threshing that we have, so we increase our separation area about by 50%. So our active and dynamic cleaning system allows us cleaning system automation. So that cleaning system automation allows us to now bring in a four sieve, so now we can actually move that crop left or right. We have an active grain pan, so allow us to increase right the overall productivity of the machine. So that cleaning system, we now bring it down, so we have that clean grain coming over the clean grain elevator, capable up to 10,000 bushel an hour. Now that's not what the machine will actually do. We're probably in that 6,500 to 7,500 bushel an hour, but we bring it up to 567 bushel grain tank. So that capacity, we unload at a six bushel per second unload rate. So that's about 100 seconds that we can get that grain tank unloaded. So talk about productivity and efficiency. But we're not stopping there. So we have the residue that comes out of the rotors into our chopper, but we have a new radar spread automation. So dual chaff spreaders to allow us to, using radar technology, allows us to speed up or slow down those spreaders based on that crop coming out the back of the machine. So whether it's windy or looking at thickness of the crop mat, now we can make that adjustment automatically with no operator input. So we're setting ourselves up for success for next season so we maintain that thick crop mat all the way through or even consistency that we're looking for. So Leo, let's finish it up with inside the cab. What are we seeing from there? Yeah, when you look at the cab, it all starts with the operator seat, so heated, cooling, massage, but it's all the business in the right-hand console. We have actually now have two Pro 1200 displays, so we get a new insight into the combine. So, for example, we can now see a grain camera image, so I can actually physically see cracks, broken, and foreign material every second. So it reaffirms what Harvest Command is doing. So Harvest Command is machine automation, automatically adjusting the combine, rotor speed, cleaning fan speed, so it automatically sets that. So last but not least, when we look at the automation that's in it, we actually now have a 360 degree view camera. So I swing out the unloading auger, now I can actually see 360 degrees top down of the whole combine. Unique in the industry to see that information. Great stuff, Leo. Hey, uh, roll out now, I would imagine we're in the field for 2024? Yeah, we'll have limited units in 2024. So this summer, customers will be able to go to their dealership, look at the possibility to place orders for 2025 season to use. Great stuff, Leo. Appreciate you making some time for real agriculture here at the Commodity Classic. Thanks for having us.